Hello AMP students, this is Mr. Becker here to talk about the structures of the hindbrain found in the brainstem and the cerebellum. And the first structure to note, this one right here, and we take a look at it in our mid-sagittal cross-section here, this is the pons. Sitting directly below the pons, we have ourselves the medulla oblongata, located right here. And in one of our other models, I want to bring this out so that way we can kind of compare and contrast. You can see the pons here, the pons here, and then directly below that, we have the medulla oblongata. And the reason being is, is that if we take a look at the other, one of our other models, we can see the pyramids of the medulla quite clearly. And then here we can see the olives. And then if I tilt a little farther to the side, we can see the pyramids on this model. And then in between two of our cranial nerves, we can make out the olives. They're just a little bit harder to make out on this particular model. All right, so if we take a look at the cerebellum, right, the folds on the cerebellum out here are known as folia. All right, they are directly equal to the gyruses that we find in the cerebrum. All right, so you can see all the folds of the folia out through here. Uh, and the reason that they get the name the folia is because all of the tracks of white matter that run through the cerebellum come together in this tree-looking structure known as the arbor vitae. The arbor vitae running through here. The folia and crut cross section look like leaves on a tree. So hence the reason why we call them the folia. Uh, and you can see they all come together here and then sitting directly anterior to the end of the arbor vitae is the fourth ventricle that separates segments of the brainstem from the cerebellum on the posterior. And if I take this other model, kind of put it together real fast like this, all right, we can see that same thing. We can see the fourth ventricle sitting right here. The walls of the fourth ventricle are made up with the cerebellar peduncles. All right, so if I peel back like this, flip around to the outside like this, you can see tracks of white matter coming off the pons here and going into the cerebellum here, and then tracks from the back side of the brainstem coming in here. So this and this are, are examples of the cerebellar peduncles, tracks of white matter that are gonna join segments of the brain together.